Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back. And for the new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the family. So in today's video, I am going to uh, to extend my counter space in the kitchen. I have a fund here. I've been so much suffering uh, due to little counter space. And I'm going to renew to to extend my counter space using this uh, this old cupboard, uh, this old cupboard that I've been having. So here the fund is just trying to to unscrew the the cupboard. Uh, we've had this cupboard for so many years, and I I want to dispose it. So I didn't have any I didn't have any timber or MDFs to use. So I decided to reuse this. So if you have any, any, anything that you don't have in the, you don't want to use in the house, you want to dispose and you can reuse it, uh, please find something that you can make out of it. So we are just trying to get some, uh, some small pieces out of this uh, so that we can make a counter top out of this so enjoy the video and uh, please give the, give this video a thumbs up like the video comment down below uh, let me let me let me hear from you what you feel about uh, what I'm doing how, how it turned out if you like the outcome uh, let me read your comments and please if you haven't subscribed kindly do so kindly subscribe to this channel kindly support me by subscribing and let us grow together. So welcome and uh, let's enjoy the video. Uh, so the wood that I'm using is called MDF. Uh, it's found in, uh, in uh, timber yards and uh, different uh, workshops so if you if you need it kindly visit and get yourself one they come in different colors nowadays i'm told even we have the marble type so the brown uh, the brown one i got it from a store uh, from a store in our apartments the caretaker gave it to me and the lighter one uh, i just told you that i'm recycling uh, the old cupboard that we have been using i don't want it anymore it is eating up so much space in my kitchen and uh, when i put this uh, shelf I, I really don't think i want to use it anymore so uh, i i didn't actually buy any any materials for this uh, job and uh, the shelves that i'm making are permanent kind of if I want to go with the wood, I will have to dismantle them, but I really don't think that I will want to shift with it. Uh, and uh, so the next tenant will have to enjoy the, the shelves. So I just learned that the MDF is made out of, um, out of papers, the, the papers that are always collected from the dustbins. That's what makes the MDF, and that's why this MDF do, does not need uh, water. If you mess it with water, it will swell. Even the furniture that is always made out of MDF, uh, any time that water enters, in, water enters into the furniture, the furniture swells and is destroyed. So if you are making anything from this type of timber, kindly do not allow water to get in into the into the MDF the brown MDF uh, is made out of cupboards and the lighter one is made out of uh, timber timber chips yes so the lighter one is better actually better than the better than the darker one uh, in terms of durability so let's let's see how this uh, will turn out it's almost done as you can see and uh, I'm so happy that I'm getting. I'm so happy that I'm getting uh, extra counter space where I can work from, and I'm going to use it uh, to use the space to hold my microwave and uh, other things, as you will see in the end. Mm -hmm. 
so this is the final outcome i really love it the space is is big uh, it's enough for me uh the length is 36 inches and the width is uh 27 28 inches uh the height is 34 no 37 inches i couldn't get a cardboard for this space a uh, movable cardboard because i was being charged extravagant 10k and above and for this space my fundi just charged me labor a thousand bob so i love it and this is now the mess that is in my kitchen there are pieces of food down here there is sawdust the the kitchen is just messy and we want to clean it so um i'm just going to be to get help from nicolette who is uh just removing dust from the wood and she will she will sweep the dust down below and carry the carry the wood pieces uh to the balcony where we will throw them away if we find that there is nothing we want to use them for i'm also washing these spoons that i dumped inside this sink So let's do the cleaning together and uh, finish this video. Please comment if you comment down below if you think this turned out well. Uh, like the video, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, giving the video thumbs up uh, helps the video grow. Kindly give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please re get me to a thousand subscribers. Le let's get there, please. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you will be able to, you will be notified of the same supporter girl. And thank you so much for those who are always supporting me. Thank you so much for those who always uh, get notifications and watch my videos. Thank you so much for those who give me their comments and for those who give me their likes. I really appreciate. So uh, let's do the cleaning and let's see how it turns out.
I'm now mopping the floors and I'm using this traditional uh, mop. I always I always feel that this gets out all the dust from the floor. You are able to uh, remove dust all the dust from the all the particles from the floor you are able to carry all the particles to to what to scrub with it uh, dust that has been stuck on the floor so whenever i have a lot of dust on the floor i don't use a mop i prefer using this actually it is even much faster and uh, the does it, does marvelous work compared to a hand mop so this is what i'm using to clean this dust because there is a lot of a lot a lot of dust on the floor uh even though we have already swept majority of the dust so let me do the cleaning i will clean the whole kitchen i will move uh, the fridge and move the cooker so that i can just clean the whole area for the kitchen to to be clean I am done cleaning and now I want to make good use of this space. Uh, this is my microwave. I'm just putting it here at the corner. Uh, let me know if uh, this is the right space, correct space for it. If you feel that I've put it in the right place. So I will put it here and I will also be using the same space to make a uh, toast because I have a toaster. So the toaster will be down below at the bottom shelf. And this, uh, this dispenser that you see here, it, is, uh, it, it needs repair. Uh, but uh, I, I want to dispose it actually. I don't think I want to repair it. I, I will dispose it. I just haven't found the right place to dispose it. So for now, it is it will stay in the kitchen so i've just put there my microwave and on top of the microwave i have put a, a basket a bref, breakfast basket we normally put here blue band bread and anything that is brex, breakfast and on top i've put those do, those two tins with the uh, green lids i have a uh, coffee and chocolate and the larger clear one has tea leaves 
So below I am putting my ripe tomatoes, uh, my onions and my box of milk. So this is how I used it. The space is not yet complete because I would have really loved to put contact paper on my whole space, but I didn't get time to go purchase one that I loved. So this is how it turned out. And I think it is serving me. It will serve me well. Down below, I can put uh, thing, things like groceries, um, I'm going to get uh, bigger baskets that I'm going to store some leftover foodstuffs uh, in those big baskets and other things. So this is the final look. Uh, this is just the beginning of the kitchen makeover. I still have a lot to do. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video.